our host, Lawi Rudi, Proroko observed. My name is Ojo Achi Lukone. I'm a board member of the Luo Foundation, and I'm also the president of the Acholi Diaspora Association of Ontario, Canada. I bring you greetings from your children in the diaspora, particularly in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The Luo Foundation is a cultural-centered, not-for-profit, and non-political organization established to promote the Luo culture and art, unity of the Luo people, and social economic development and integration for harmonious coexistence of our people globally. These objectives are not new and are not the creation of the Luo Foundation. In fact, if you were to feel the pulse of every single Luo man and woman, the one thing that you would notice would be a real clear sense, desire, quest, and thirst for unity. That is what is happening organically in this country, in all of the 10 countries that Dr. mentioned, and globally among the world population. And this desire to come together has been in motion. It's not starting today. It didn't start yesterday. It is in motion organically within the individual and within the collective unit of the Luo fraternity. We at the Luo Foundation are only here to assist, document this movement, the activities, the events, things that have not been documented before, things that have not been organized before, supports that have not been given before. And that is what the Luo Foundation Secretariat has offered to this organic movement that the foundation does not own. I repeat, at the foundation, we only offer to provide the fuel to this organic movement taking place beginning with this consultative meeting today. Our host, as has been clearly stated in our statement, is the Ke Kualkwara of Acholi. Put in another way, we are providing a singular pillar, not all the pillars. In, in Luo we say, Laka Art not the we art. So this foundation is not the we art. I mean, the foundation as an organization is not the we art. It's only the car art for a collective union of our people. The umbrella seeking to house us, the umbrella that the Luo Foundation has presented a la car for, and that umbrella housing us here today are four, but not limited to the four. Our host, K. Kalkwara Chuli, Tiana Dollar, K. Alon, and K. Alu. Again, I state. It's not limited to those four. But for today's consultative meeting, we have only managed 
to begin with and secure these four umbrellas. This consultative meeting is not a one-off. We have a large Luo population in Canada. Our government in Canada hold multiculturalism as an integral to society, to the Canadian society. They have so kindly agreed that the Luo Foundation can host a culture and art conference in Toronto, Canada. This is the message I'm here to deliver to this consultative meeting. We know you will ask us many questions about the feasibility of a law conference in Canada. We did our homework. The Secretariat took account of all the events known to take place yearly in the North America. And for 2022, we found that August, that the week of August 22nd, 2022, is a suitable period for us to gather. Again, Toronto, Ontario, Canada is not the cradle of the world. We are only your children in the diaspora who, as a result of this word, have found ourselves there for many, many reasons. Well, I believe that many of you would not ask that we all come back here, for we are your ambassadors in the places in which we live. We have made efforts to represent you well. We have also represented you in very high up places. So very recent, the Luo, your own son, in the diaspora, managed to present a brilliance that the world had never seen before in the person of Barack Obama, who led United States of America as president. That is how far it can go in contemporary times. To root this rebuff to the statements made by Dr. Uh, Olaro Tuno, he spoke about the capability, the leadership capability of the Luo people. If you thought that statement was made in the passing, I would like you to be reminded that Barack Obama, the President Barack Obama, and many others have demonstrated that it is not a fallacy. It's not false. It is true, even in recent times. For this reason, we have a lot as Luo people to give to the world and to give to ourselves. There has been so many questions rather about what we have given to ourselves as the world people. Have we given to ourselves that leadership that protects our heritage, our culture, our language, our way of knowing, our literature, our lowness, That is a huge question that should boggle each and every one of us. And that was the question I wanted to ask Dr. Aratuno when he delivered his remarks. That what, in his opinion, should the Luo people do now, not yesterday? Yesterday is history. 
what should the Lord people do now and going forward so that we can begin to restore our lowness. I have an uncle, Ojok Red Kerebino, who one time asked his son to look back and move forward. Say, son, go over to that tree, but don't look forward, just look backward until I stop you. And the son marched forward. So when he was reaching the tree, he turned to look, he said, you have failed. I ask you not to look backward, but just forward. The son responded, he said, well, daddy, there's a roadblock. If I continued, I will actually knock my head on the tree. Then he says, very well, you have understood. The lesson is this. He said, if you look backward too much, and in this context, he meant backward to the wrong things that, or mistakes, you know, the things that didn't go well, it will prevent you from going forward. So he was advising his son that if his son continued to just move forward in this world, but while looking backward, he has many trees and walls that will hit his head on. And his journey perhaps will stop at one of those barriers. I will conclude and say this to this consultative meeting. We have recognized that we didn't do very well. And it's important we do so. To enable us to evaluate and assess what we can do differently. But let's not dwell too much on to those things such that we lose even the ability and momentum to do anything right because of history that has been tainted with so much, in our view, failures. And little have we spent the time to examine the successes. And this is so true for human nature. Sometimes we are not kind enough to ourselves. Rarely do we sit down to count things that we have done right. We are too shy and so much to the laws. Too shy to say, I think we have done A, B, C, D right. And we can step or stand on those things done right to correct things done wrong and move forward. I cannot thank you all enough. I cannot thank the K. Carl Quaro leadership enough. I cannot thank the Etienne uh, Adola enough. I cannot thank K. Alan enough. I cannot thank K. Alur enough. And I cannot thank each one of you, not to forget our political leadership the chairperson of the Lango Parliamentary Group is here today. And I, I understand and I must acknowledge that we were not fortunate at this point to receive uh, the chairpersons of the other uh, Luo Parliamentary Group. But on a positive note, you are here for everyone. You are here for the entire Luo Parliamentary Group that is yet to be formed. And I want to thank you so much, and I would like you to, uh, on your return to Parliament, to convey our appreciation, and that we do acknowledge uh, the relevance and importance, and that for today, uh, today's consultative meeting, it was not possible to have them here in Gulu, at Churchill Courts, in Lokone Hall, but going forward, as this is not a one-off, we are sure to emerge even stronger. We say in Luo, 
that the goat tiri and more. So there is a particular bird, it's tiny, but it's the most test. So this gathering and this consultative meeting is small, but will be very impactful. May God bless you all. I greet you again. Thank you.